We're going to go over if you are having no flow rates on your controller and what to check. One thing to do is we have a diagnostic harness that will plug in line with your flow meter. So what you'll do is this part right here will plug into the flow meter. This plug right here plugs into the harness and there's two lights. You have a red, which is showing that we have power, your green, which is signal. And then we also have a switch. And what the switch does is you will click it and it will simulate a pulse in the flow meter and should read on your controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to hook this up. Okay, so the first thing to do is you reach up behind here to your flow meter and you will unplug it and you will take this one right here and you will plug into the harness and then you'll take this one and you will plug it in to the bottom of the flow meter. So now that it is plugged in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn your controller on so that your unit has power to verify that we have power through the cable on this red light. So now that you have power, you see the red light is indicating that we have power to the flow meter. The green is lit up showing that the signal is connected. So what you'll do is you will take this little switch here, here's your light, and you will click it. And what that's doing is simulating a pulse through the flow meter. At this time, your controller should be reading some kind of flow. The faster you click it, the more flow you're gonna have. If your controller is reading a flow while you're hitting the switch, that will tell you that your flow meter is not working correctly. We suggest replacing the flow meter. If you still do not have any numbers reading on your controller while hitting the switch, we suggest a new harness from the box to the flow meter. And that is how you check your flow meter to verify that it is working or not working.